Hey, fifth graders. I hope you're having a great week. Um, it was requested that we draw a dog today. So I went ahead and drew my dog and Lucas's dog, Max. He's a golden retriever. I think you guys, all of you guys know who he is. Anyway, so we're gonna draw a golden retriever. Feel free if you wanna use this dog body and make your dog. Um, really uh, different things you could do is different types of hair, that sort of thing. Anyway, <coughs> so let's get started on Max today. So the first step that I do is the top of the head and you can see that that is a, you guessed it, curved line. I'm just starting um, like about in the middle of my paper a little bit over to the right up top. Okay, so here's my curved line. Go ahead and do that curved line. All right, so let's do the muzzle. It's a straight line out just like that. And then I curve down back towards the head, just like that. Okay, nice job. Um, we get a little nose in there, a little another curved line. Okay, Max has his mouth open. Okay, he is, I don't know, he's begging for something. So I do a curve food. line out. Food, yeah, probably right. <laughs> and then, um, right here, we're just gonna get the bottom of the head and it's another shorter curved line because now I want to get a um, nice deep curved line for his cute little air ears. Now when I do my curved line, I get some um, zigzag lines going on because it's a good way to make it look like hair. So when I bring my line down, I just kind of come up and get some zigzags going. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. It's not a big deal. <coughs> um, so I'll put a little dot for an eye. Again, you can do whatever type of eye you want. It's no biggie. And then again, when I come down for the neck, <laughs> is Max saying hi? Yes. I think he knows we're talking about him. Um, when I do the neck, I'm gonna do um, just a little bit of zigzag lines going down too, just like that. Real short ones. Um, again, if you just want to do a soft straight curve line, that's okay too. All right, now I see my head and I'm kind of saying, all right, my body needs to go probably about down to here. And so it's a nice curve line. I'll do it in pencil. If I just did it straight with doing zigzags, it would be, I'd go out straight to the left and then curve down a little bit. Now, if I wanted to do just a zigzag line here and there, that's kind of how I do it. Okay? Mm hmm Ta-da! Nice, Lucas. You think my body's a little big? Um, it is slightly too long, but that's okay. All, he, all you have to do is erase. Um, okay, let's get the tail in. And I just do a straight line that goes into a curve right at the top there. Okay, just like that. And again, to make some hair, I do a zigzag line down. Now, if I just wanted to do a straight line down, so it comes to a point here, I would go like this. I would make sure it, it we have a space between here and here. Again, if you wanna do some zigzag lines, this is all you'd have to do. You can always draw just straight lines or soft uh, curved lines first and then come back and get the zigzags in. Okay, let's do the chest. Now, golden retrievers kind of have a floofy chest, so I definitely get some hair going on here. I'm gonna do that um, just plain curve line first. I bring it down to here. Now, for my golden retriever, I definitely get some nice long zigzags going on like that, okay? Cute, Lucas, <laughs> I love it. So let's get his bottom in. It's just a curved line. It goes to about the same uh, length as his chest, okay? So you're thinking maybe we would do this back leg first, but how I like to do it is I like to get this part of the leg in first. And it's just a curved line. I'm gonna draw it comes down a little lower than this one that we just did. So just like this, if you wanna get some fur in there, you can go back over and do it like that, 
Okay. Now we can just connect, connect these two lines to create a nice paw and leg. And so it curves down and then curves up, just like that. And then three little curved lines to create the toes, the posi toes. What, were you, what did you want to say, Lucas? I was going to tell him about the three little lines. That oh, <laughs> OK, cool. Thanks. OK, so we do see the other leg right behind. So you just kind of you create that same curve, mm -hmm. but it's up a little higher. And then we get some little lines for toes. OK. All right, so let's get a belly in there. Um, for my belly, you want to make sure that you leave some space for that, that leg here. So the belly is kind of a soft curved line that comes up just a little bit. Give it a shallow S, just like that. Okay, awesome. And now we need to get that other paw. Make sure that the leg and the paw here that you draw does not go any lower than the back paw because then it looks funky okay it's just a curved line again lots of curved lines and my golden retriever which happens to be max he's got his little paw up he wants something he's trying to do a trick yeah maybe a slice of pizza um he wants something so i i uh, come down Right, I leave a little space from below his head, and then I come out and I curve up. Maybe he's trying to give us paw. And then connect with a line. I do his three little paw lines here. Whoop, he's kind of stretched out a little long here, but that's okay. Oh, cute, you did an awesome job. Okay, so Max is wow. always wagging his tail. He's a happy guy. So I did little tail wagging lines. Um, so this is kind of an easy drawing for fifth grade. So my challenge for you is to get some details. What is he begging for? So for Max, maybe he's begging for a slice of pizza. So maybe I'd draw that slice of pizza in. Okay. Um, maybe it's pepperoni pizza. I have a guess that maybe that's his favorite. Um, and maybe he's saying something like, Bark. <laughs> pizza. Pizza is mine. Give. Okay. Um, maybe he's on a rug. Or she, of course, but my doggy happens to be a he, so, and this is Max. He's on a rug. Um, I want to see lots of fun details with your um, doggy that you draw. Okay. And send those in to me. You have, if you can get it in within a week, it's all good. All right? So no stress. Just have fun with it and email me those um, pictures. I love to see them. Have a great day, fifth graders. Bye. Bye.